Hi guys, welcome to Gusto News on Gusto TV. My name is Ife Oluwa and uh, yes, today on the news I've got Mama Jam Jam. I also have CK and there's Whiskey. But before I go on, let me say thank you to you guys for all you do for us, for the likes, the comments, telling people about Gusto TV. Thank you so much. And for those of you who are new to the channel, please click on the subscribe button and as well on the notification bell so you're notified whenever we drop a new video both buttons are just beneath this video just click it yeah so starting off the news with Tiwa Savage uh Tiwa Savage of course we've seen a lot of performance from how we saw at the um you know, global yes the global concerts that was held in a different part of the world and she was there to perform you know for nigeria we've seen videos of herself performing and somebody is crying you know she has gone on to say that you know she made a quite a, a global song and very emotional one with somebody son you know featuring brandy and of course seeing her performance as well at the um, lost Re lost in reading yes uh concert there on she was as well in a picture with bonner boy and fans are beginning to say maybe we just need a bonner boy and tiwa savage collaboration but on this one she's about a bit you know uh, there's a bit of heat on her at the moment because of a video of herself she posted where she was vibing to whiskey's um you know song and not say off the Made lagos deluxe um uh project released recently uh so yes of course we've seen some twitter yes some people are like we we's no sender again some people are like uh you know somebody coming for that same person to say your father is Mumu. wow well, the way people really insult themselves on it's here. Anyway, it says, uh, want fame. Oh, wow. See what I want fame. Really? Someone else is saying, um, okay, she makes she they cry. No. Okay. This is a fan here of two hours. I've been saying, oh, because they played are not to the U S her to cry or, you know, stop dancing. And someone else is like, so like now you're dancing to it. So what should we do? Wow. Uh, wow. This person says, if I catch Tiwa, oh, da. okay. Anyways. <laughs> I guess we already know what that is, but somebody's saying if he gets hold of Tiwa Savage, it wouldn't be funny for her. Uh, someone else is saying, make she move. Uh, another person is saying, my advice to you, Tiwa, is just apologize to VCDFC for posting that trash. Will MI want it is newly released so that they can soft pen down on their bad boots at you? It doesn't matter if you are with or, or not in good time again. As you can see, Wiz has already replaced it with terms while you two do the same with David. Anyways, there's quite, I, I mean, these things are a lot when we see, we see the FC always come up, you know, when they say like somebody and they perceive that they feel like, you know, someone at Whiskey is not in good terms. And when that person is seen doing, you know, something that has to do with Whiskey, they tend to come at the person. Anyways, this one is quite a big, a bit of, you know, back and forth between Whiskey the FC and Tua Savage. So just saying that. So what should she do? Like, okay, so she's dancing to Whiskey song. Should the world come to an end? And FCs are like, look, just stay off it because, you know, you fell off or something. Anyways, those are one of those things we see virtually every day from fans, you know, trying to defend their faves. Now, moving on to the next news is CK. Okay, CK is like in the news. Every news, you always see CK, especially whenever they roll out the Billboard 200, 100, you know, Billboard excluding world album excluding usa including usa you did always see this guy here of course his album ck uh, project is ck the first uh, has debuted at 100 and you know 100 plus on the billboard 200 today and that's quite a very big one for him but well knowing that last week the song love once is debuted on the billboard 100 at 80 I mean, that is huge. It debuted at 80. And today, Love One City stands at 50 on the billboard. So at the moment, um, CK's Love One City is on the top 50 of the billboard at 100 after debuting a week ago at 80. This, of course, is a very big one for him. Climbing you know, about 30 steps, you know, 30 points upward to find its way at 50. This shows that if there's a song that has the fastest chance of probably getting to the top 10 on that, you know, on the billboard at the moment, definitely this song has that chance of doing so. Looking at how it's, you know, trending in countries like India and Japan, you mentioned at the moment is the most Shazam song in the world, even gone on to, you know, bring down SS in the US, becoming number one. So quite a lot is happening around this song. And now on the billboard, it's doing well. What a good time to have two Nigerian songs on the billboard at 100. Congratulations to this guy, right? Big up to you. 
So now, yeah, rounding up the news with Whiskey. Of course, you know, there's no week that would come out without Whiskey as well, continuing to set the standard of breaking a record with the Made in Lagos album or, you know, the hit song of that album, SS. Anyways, we know, of course, Whiskey is the first Nigerian song to find its way on the Billboard 800, but it's not the first African song. Yes, but it is the first song by a Nigerian artist. So let's someone who does Afrobeats that find its way on the Billboard 800. But I'm sure, you know, with that, it was a record-breaking strike by uh, Whiskey and, of course, gave FC a bragging rights. But now they now have another bragging rights that they could even use to tell them that, yes, fine, in Africa, might not be the first person to find a way on there but trust me essence has been the longest song by an african on the um billboard he says whiskey ss beats south african's legend um huge massacalas 1968 record to become the longest chatting african song of all time on the u.s billboard 800 massacalas grassing the grass spent 12 weeks whiskey ss spent 13 weeks so far and counting it would be fair to say counting for a song that left from 17 to 14 and at the moment it's 11 so trust me what would happen in next week maybe it's find its way to top 10 it's good, definitely going to be going up and when that goes on it probably will be setting another you know staying it has already set it but mm, of course it's still counting so yes whiskey ss has spent 13 weeks and counting on the billboard us billboard 800 and of course the south african um legend who sets the record by being the first africa on there spent 12 weeks just the same way you know he became the made in lagos yes at the moment is the longest starting in your album on the billboard 200 beating likes of fellas record of 45 weeks now he's still on there this week and that makes it his 47th week so anyways that's on that one for whiskey whiskey is still setting the record and with the likes of CK following through and making sure that, you know, African music, Nigerian music, Afrobeat keeps being in the face of people outside the country, it's really a good time for the culture. So guys, that's the end of this news. If you're new to Gusto TV, do click on the subscribe button and as well on the notification bell. You can tell us in the comment section what you feel about this. We've got two Nigerian songs on the Billboard 800 Top 50. Whiskey SS is almost top 10, setting a record. The longest um, song on that um, Billboard 800 on there. And of course, we'll see you guys on the next news. Bye.